Hello everyone and welcome to this section. All right, so in this section, we're gonna start to actually uh, play around a little bit with, you know, with uh, Python, with the Jupyter Notebook. And we're gonna use um, kind of OpenCV, which is, you know, a very powerful um, library that we can use to manipulate a lot, of, a lot of images, all right? So let's assume that I have a colored image, okay, which is, you know, this image, which is simply like kind of, you know, like an image of a road showing different colors. We have some green colors here for the, for the, uh, you know, like the greenery. We have some vehicles in here. We have some lanes that are kind of presented in a white pixels. Let's take a look at the image, you know, and let's, I'm gonna walk you through the code step by step. And the objective of this exercise is to just take an image, you know, it's kind of, you know, like uh, like warm up kind of. We're gonna take an image, we're gonna convert that colored image into a grayscale and actually save it. Okay, very simple example. I'll walk you through it step by step. All right. The first step is we're gonna import matplotlib, okay? Uh, dot image, which is, you know, going to be used, I'm going to show you how can we use basically for the uh, pyplot and image as well, libraries. And then I'm going to import numpy as mp, I'm going to import the cv, which is open cv uh, library, which is again very powerful, they're going to show you, can does it can do wonders for us, it can literally, it can make our life 10 times easier, okay? All right, let's run it. So that's kind of an you know, important library, we're good. Once we see the number, that means we're good, okay, good to go. Next step is my image, okay, it's again, the image has to be in kind of the same directory that I have. And he was specified, okay, we wanna mpimg.imageread, when I re read the image, I'm gonna specify what's my image, what my image is, dot jpg, okay? And the image we're gonna be read, I'm gonna put in an image color, right? That's pretty much it. Let's run it. And that we're just gonna load our image. And then if I wanna show the image, I was just gonna call, use, you know, like image show, okay, within the plot library, PLT library. And then we're gonna show, okay, image, the actual image that I've got here, which is image color, right? That will show our image. Okay, looks great. So that's my exact same image that I had before. It looks perfect, all right? And then, what if I wanna show the shape, okay? I know that this image is colored image, so I'm expecting to see kind of three layers somehow. But I don't know, for example, the dimensions of the how many pixels do I have. Actually, you can read it through the image here. You can see that the, our, our image is around, let's say, 550 pixels by, let's say, 900, 950, for example, width, right? So let's actually read this. So if I write image underscore color and I use the shape, shape method to apply on this image, dot shape, then it can actually tell us, okay, what's the shape of the images? Okay, let's run it. All right. It actually showed us, okay, we have 540, that's our um, uh, length here, and our width is 960 pixels, and actually we have three layers, which makes complete sense. Why? Because it's a colored image, okay? Perfect. Okay, great. The next step is we actually wanted to take the image and convert the image from color to grayscale. Okay. So what we could use, is we can use, again, the OpenCV to perform just color conversion. So what we do is that we can call it, okay, cv2 dot cvt color, okay, which is kind of, you know, like, just, um, we can convert from, let's say, like, uh, different color formats. I'm gonna show you how to convert from RGB, for example, to HSV or whatever, whatever format afterwards. But here we're just gonna do, is that we're gonna use our image. Here we're gonna pass our image, which is image color. And then we're gonna use, you know, the method of converting from color underscore BGR to gray, so we're just gonna move from colored image to a grayscale image. And this basically will return back my image, we're gonna call it image gray, okay? The next step is we're gonna plot dot image show, we're just gonna show my image gray, and then just use the color map gray, okay? All right, let's run it. And perfect, that's actually showed me my image, and it looks like a grayscale, that looks great. Again, you guys recall the number of pixels are the same, so we have again 500 or 540, by 960 pixels. However, I should see that the the um, the third dimension of a matrix, which is you know the third dimension, the three dimensions or the three layers, has to be reduced somehow. Now, because, why? Because now we have a grayscale image, right? Let's take a look. So, if we use again the shape method over the image gray, we should see uh, just a single layer, right? So, if let's run it. That actually looks pretty good. Actually, we saw like we don't have three anymore, like the, like here before. Now we have just kind of, you know, like a, like a two-dimensional 2D, and in each pixel there's just one color. There's no three colors that represents RGB uh, colors as we had before. All right? 
Okay, let's take a look at the actual, what if I want to not just, uh, image show will actually gonna show me the actual image, we'll translate the image. What if I actually want to see the actual value of the pixel, okay? We can do this by just using like image gray, okay? So if I actually call this kind of, you know, like our uh, matrix per se, if we run it, that will show us actually what's inside it. So if you guys can see here, that will show us, okay, that we have like, you know, like integers of, of eight, okay? And as you guys see here, we have these are the kind of decimal values that represent the, the pixel values within it. So we have like say 199 that represent, let's say a gray color. 187, that's again a gray color, it was a little bit, a little bit like lighter, okay? If you guys recall, zero was, um, uh, zero was black. 255 was completely bright, right? So as we increase the number 191, that we're going to like towards the white, okay? Okay, and that's pretty much how can we represent the pixel. What if I wanted to, let's say, um, actually I got that command um, mainly specifically because I wanted to view the entire matrix. I wanna see like what is that you know, image we're gonna look like as a matrix, all right? So if we run that command, that will simply, you know, and if we run that command prior to the image gray, that will show us the entire image, full image, okay? All right, so let's take a look. Let's take a little bit of a while because I'm plotting the entire image right now, and that's what's gonna actually gonna show me the entire image. This is pretty much all the pixels. Here, in simple forms, I'm just gonna use this. Instead of using like these dots, I'm just gonna show the actual image. All right, that's pretty interesting. As you guys can see here, there's a lot of 200, 213, for example. That means we know it's a lot of bright colors, white colors, not bright, white colors. If we go down here, you'll show there's a little bit of like, you know, like kind of black kind of thing, seven, 70, around 70. You know, if you go down, you would see some, I saw some 34, 33, that means, you know, very dark colors. In case, keep scrolling down, you know, that's how you actually view the image in a color, in a, in a, in a, in a decimal format, which is fascinating. That's, you know, like, yes, you can see an image, you know, we can interpret it, we can actually see the, what's happening in the background. Why? Because once we know what's happening in the background, when we, once we interpret it as numbers, we can actually use it moving forward to train, let's say, an artificial neural network or let's say a machine learning algorithm that can tell me, okay, where is the black? Where is the white range? How can we classify images? What are the features that we can get out of the image? And that's the beauty of, you know, computer vision and when we tie it down or we tie it basically with machine learning uh, strategies or machine learning techniques. All right, perfect. Okay, that's great. What if I wanna save the image? Actually, we can use, again, OpenCV. We're gonna use cv2.image, right? And then we're gonna specify what's the name of our image. So we're just gonna call it image underscore lane, it's called gray. G stands for gray. And I'm just gonna pass, okay, what's the images? So that's my image, image gray, that I wanna save it under the name, the, under this name, basically, okay? Once we run it, then we should, it should tell me true, that means we're good. And then if you go to the working directory, you can actually find an image that's called image lane. You should find an image lane gray, and that will be our grayscale image, all right? And that's pretty much all what I have for this section, just to re re uh, recoup. So what you guys can experience here, we know how can we load an image, colored image, okay? We know how can we get the shape of the image. We know now that we know a colored image actually con consists of three layers, okay? We now we know how can we convert using OpenCV from grayscale to colored image. And then how can we take the actual gray image and save it, you know, in an actual image, which is perfect. Now I can, you know, take image from working directory, play with it, do something with it, save it back to the working directory. All right. I hope you guys enjoyed this section and see you in the next section.